and we're checking out here the new Xperia 5. Hi, so who are you? I'm Richard. I, I work with PR and, and product management for Sony uh, with these Xperia devices. So um, you're showing the new, this is a new uh, Xperia 5. Yeah. Um, it's a special cinema-wide display, what do you call it? Exactly, cinema-wide display, which means that we have a 21 to 9 display ratio, which means that you can fit a lot of content in this way. And you can, of course, also watch video in the way it was intended with 21 to 9 aspect ratio without any black bars. But how many movies are in this format compared to 16 by 9? Actually, because it, most it, content is 16 by 9, no? Uh, not in, not when it comes to movies. I think around 70% of all movies on Netflix, for example, are actually in 21 to 9. I mean, this has been the cinematic ratio for movie theaters for many decades, actually. So movies are almost always in 21 to 9. Really? But then when it comes to more casual content... TV content will have black bars on the side, right? Yes. So, so TV content TV is mostly in 16 to 9 or 18 to 9. In space. Nice. So uh, it's got a very special display. Yeah. Uh, what is special about this display? I think the main part about the display is that it's, of course, from the beginning, very good hardware, which means that you will have very good color rendition, very good sharpness, etc. of course. But what we also have is the X1 processing from the Bravia side of things in Sony, which means that the, the display algorithms or the processing in the display will all the time kind of optimize what you see on the display. What we also have, starting from Xperia 1 this spring, is something now, sorry, my phone is in Swedish, I'll switch it to English. They're coming so, with? So what we also have is under display settings, you can also choose to go into what we call creative mode. And what this does is that it kind of faithfully reproduces the actual content of the video file or the video stream. So very much focused on the producer, producers and creators out there that want to review a picture they just shot or a video. So create a mode of what? Of, uh, of just looking at video and images on it? Yes. So uh, what does it say BT2020 going on here? What is this? So BT2020 is a color space. Um, and this can actually then decode of that color space. Which is it a 10-bit display? It's a 10-bit reproduction. The, the actual hardware is 8-bit, but there's 2-bit smoothing as well. So that makes it 10-bit. And it can decode, of course, 10-bit content. Uh, so very special display, like um, watching the content from Netflix and the Amazon and YouTube and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be an interesting experience in this display. Yeah, yeah, and in, even more so, of course, in Xperia 1, which has a 4K OLED display. So both are OLED, both have these features and these quality parameters, but the difference is in the resolution. And, uh, and uh, both the Xperia 1 and the Xperia 5 are going to have uh, some very advanced features. Can you show on yours maybe um, the camera mode? Yeah, I mean, the, the normal camera mode uh, you've seen before, but the Cinema Pro feature is where you really can shoot video in a very manual, very kind of professional workflow. So you can so choose H265 now? Are you in 4K? Yes, in 4K, 21 to 9. You can, when you create a new project, you also can choose to have the resolution 4K or 2K. Is it 4K 30 or 4K 60? It's 24 or 30. Yeah. So cinematic 24 in this case. And then you also choose the look, which is based on look profiles from the Venice professional cinematic cameras of Sony. I've been told that this Venice color science is the most flat one if you want to do grading, etc. in post-production. And then you choose your ISO. So it shoots in a log? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Yeah. And, and then uh, this is a... Uh, this is shutter speeds in the cinematic terms. The shutter order. angle? Yeah, exactly. And then you also choose which lens to use, of course. So there's three lenses behind here? Yeah. Can, it, can we look behind? Three lens, different... What are the three lenses? So it's one 16 millimeter, super wide angle. It's one 26, kind of versatile normal lens. And then it's a 52 millimeter tele lens. Nice, and let's go back in the, in the UI. So, 
It's got some uh, some other stuff going on here. Yeah, let me just see, see if I can switch the lens here. So now we're in the 26 millimeter lens. And some of the news compared to the Xperia 1, which of course we'll get some of this in the, the software updates coming, is that you can also control microphone gain. Ooh. So you have the gain up here, and you can then choose to control it with lower or higher level. It doesn't do shotgun mic mode, no? No. It cannot focus the sound straight in no. ahead. But, uh, you could probably uh, connect external microphones, though. Yeah, Bluetooth or... Yeah, my, no, probably... No, there's a USB-C jack. So that's USB-C, the so they could be USB-C yeah. microphone yeah. systems. And then uh, we also added the option to have a lock for auto white balance. So if you have your gray card with you, you can always use auto and shoot the gray card and push lock, and then you will have a, a locked white balance. And perhaps the most interesting thing is that we can now also work with focus pulling. So if I set a focus point over here somewhere, let's see over there, and then I set another focus point uh, there, and then I set that B there. So this means if I want to now pan and focus shift, I can set the time for that. Now it's set to three seconds. And then I click the small A there, and what will happen is that it will automatically then, over a period of three seconds, turn focus onto where I have the other point. A smooth focus pull. Yeah. But what's the size of the sensor in there? Is it the same, those two? Yes, these have the same camera sensor sizes, same megapixels, same optical image stabilization, etc. So it's a one point something? Yeah, I no, actually am not smaller than one inch. Uh, yeah, it's smaller than one inch for sure. And, uh, yeah. But it's got good uh, low 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 lights. Yes, that's one of the changes we made with Xperia One compared to our previous flagships is that we lowered the megapixel count, i.e., made the pixels larger. We also added optical image stabilization to improve low light capability. On all the three lenses? Well. No, on the 52 and the 26 millimeter. And then. Uh, very stable handheld sh shooting video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, the tracking only works in 1080p for tracking people, right? For video, you mean, or for yeah, photos? For video. for video, you have, if you go You have to, IOTA focus. Yeah, we have IOTA focus as well. But if we go to 4K, then object tracking is turned off. That's true. So if we go to full HD, then you can have object tracking on as well. So it has all the, the object tracking, even with IOTA focus? If, if you have object tracking on, then you actually manual select an object. If you don't have object tracking on, uh, then you should have face detection like this. Can you then, choose the codec, H.264, H.265, or is it just yes, H.265? You, you can choose the codec. So here you have H.264 and H.265. Nice. H.265 can be smaller? Yeah, I guess so. Higher compressed, yeah. yeah. Nice. And battery is good? It battery doesn't run out really after good. half an hour to do 4K video? No, I haven't made 4K video for half an hour, but it shouldn't, no. Nice. And no recording limits? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Of course, it will depend on heat, etc. Nice. Uh, Can we walk around quickly? So, uh, so here you're showing all the smartphones. And um, what's going on in here? Yeah. I, oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Yeah, some Fortnite video games, okay. Yes. And, uh, uh, with the, the DualShock controller from PlayStation, connected ah, to the experience. PlayStation controller, yeah. Yeah, so you can see it over there, actually. Yeah. So you have the nice. controller. Is that the standard PlayStation controller? Yes. And with a little adapter? Yeah, it's just Bluetooth, so the adapter is just for holding. And this is the different colors maybe you have? Yes. So this is the same you were showing? Oh yeah, let's check it out. Yeah. So can you uh, play a little bit? So it's got Fortnite and any other game? <laughs> maybe maybe any... It's connecting over 4G to yeah, the probably. Fortnite server. Wi-Fi. So it's matchmaking. Yeah. Nice. With this nice little adapter, yeah. only for this phone, not for every other phone? I mean, it's a slide-on, uh, so you can actually slide on any phone in here. But Xperia devices have native support for the DualShock controller. 
so yes. you can use it to, 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 to any exterior yeah. device. Cool. That's okay. Uh, it's, it's probably loading out the arm. Yeah. And, uh, Thank you. And over there, with this demo about the IAF, right? Yes. Which you're doing, that is just showing the perfectly precise. Yeah, no problem. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. And uh, so, it, basically, it's providing more and more video high-end and photo functions. Yeah, and I think, I mean, the Xperia 5, which is launched here now, the basic difference between that and the Xperia 1 is the size, actually. So we're making sure to enable a wider audience, slightly lower price, slightly smaller size, yeah. to get all those features in, the in price a around? Uh, the price is around 799 euros. For which one? For the Xperia 5. Five. And the Xperia 1 Xperia is? Xperia 1 is, I think, 950 euros. Right. Might differ slightly between markets, of course. And it's got a very fast uh, Qualcomm Yeah, the Snapdragon set. 855. Right.